In the deaf community at the moment, it's fairly obvious what's happening with access to work. We can see that they're only interested in saving money. They're not interested in assessing deaf people's individual needs, offering them budgets that match these needs. They only want to save cash. The access to work application form should be quite a simple thing. You send it off and then you get your decision. But there's usually delays while it's being processed. Your application form is passed from advisor to advisor. You have to make hundreds of phone calls and then it gets sent back to you and you're asked to send it in again. You know, for eight weeks now, me and other members of staff here have had no interpreter. Access to work's attitude is not great and it really concerns me. They really patronize us. I get on with my everyday business and I give them all the information they need but they keep pestering me for more and more over and over and I really don't understand what the problem is. We work really really hard. When a problem occurs with access to work we have to deal with it which takes about 20% of our time which leaves 80% of our time for work. They should pay us for that 20% of our time. We don't want to waste that. We have all typed up letters of complaint, which are formal, which we've sent to the head of Access to Work. To date, we've had no reply for over one month. As deaf people, we are not equal to hearing people in the workplace at the moment. They're able to make their phone calls, make appointments, do their urgent business with their clients. They can do that smoothly without any interruption. At the moment, as deaf people, we're not able to answer the phone, we're not able to keep in contact with clients, which basically means our clients are going to be lost to us, and then I'm at risk of losing my job. The salaried interpreter model that's being proposed by Access to Work now is really not clear. It's quite fudged in some areas, which is a shame. I don't think they've spoken to Access to Work clients, or indeed even employers. I don't think they've done that. There's no proposed budget for staff training or for CPD, continuing professional development. I know, you know, all companies have policies that reflect the responsibility to train their staff, but there's no budget for it here.